Is this going to be the ultimate downfall of Hollywood? The celebrities of Hollywood have fans turning up on them, today we will uncover the dark truth behind that. The tides are shifting in Hollywood as many celebrities are being called out by the public for their silence and inaction in the ongoing Israel to Palestine war. After the Met Gala 2024, this problem was highlighted furthermore as a TikToker named Hayley Khalil got viral for supposedly tone-deaf TikTok. So why did many celebrities get so much backlash and lost millions of followers in just eight day? Here is some background behind this cancellation. For several months since October 7, there has been ongoing war between Israel and Palestine which garnered more and more social media traction with time. As that happened, people started questioning the morals of multi-millionaire celebrities for their inaction in helping solve prices of hunger and war in the world. Many celebrities have throughout this process been cancelled or boycotted for their inaction. While many face backlash for supporting either one of the sides, some had to face even more dire consequences like losing roles in movies and future projects due to their political affiliations. Not only that, this has also started a unique movement called Blockout 2024, where people are mass blocking celebrities who have not spoken up for or against any party in the ongoing war. Here are some of the celebrities that had to lose followers or work opportunities, or faced major backlash. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to find out more. One of the highest ranking supermodels, Bella Hadid, was one of the most prominent supporters of Palestine when it came to the ongoing genocide. The supermodel lost major work opportunities when she started speaking up in support of Palestine. Bella, being Muslim herself, was extremely vocal about the ongoing war, and as a result, she was replaced by major companies like Dior. In fact, Dior replaced the model with an Israeli model, which raised eyebrows for many people. It's the hard part about this is that if you want to speak up about things that you believe in, sometimes somebody that you work with doesn't believe in the same things you do, and, and sometimes that's an issue. Bella opened up about her experience saying that she's willing to lose jobs when it comes to the cause of Palestine and would rather stand for what she believed in, but not every model has that choice. And despite being at the height of her career, Bella Hedy decided to leave modeling for the time being and focus on a more domestic life instead of staying a celebrity as she found it shallow and fake. But now, we will explore a celebrity on the opposite end of the spectrum, who faced extreme backlash for supporting Israel and not Palestine. It is not just the celebrities that were supporting Palestine that had to face the detriment of supporting either of the sides in this war. Jewish comedian and actress Amy Schumer had a very strong stance against Palestine as the war began. This led to many emotionally charged statements from her aunt. Many people called out her post to be downright offensive and Islamophobic. Upon being called out on her remarks by a black actress, she engaged in a public feud with her which ended up with many people calling a hypocrite and Zionist. Despite this huge backlash, Amy didn't necessarily lose any opportunities. Instead, she was honored as a feminist by an American magazine called Variety. In the interview with Variety, she began by saying that she also had to suffer in real life where, while taking a subway, some woman called her names and she was unfazed by it since she received so much hatred. However, there was a celebrity who lost a major contract due to her social media support of Palestine. Scream Movies is a popular franchise of horror movies of which Melissa Barrera was a part of. Popular actress Jenna Ortega, who was also casted in the movie Wednesday, was also a part of this movie. However, Melissa Barrera was openly supporting Palestine during the ongoing war, and this did not sit right with the director of the movie, who was Jewish himself. Melissa's post resulted in her getting fired from the movie, but this firing did not prompt Melissa to stop with supporting Palestine. Honestly, I feel like I finally am becoming who I'm supposed to be in life and and the last few months have been you know a big uh, uh, awakening of that and I'm just so grateful for everything that's happened. Yeah. Melissa shared that she was grateful that she was taken out of the franchise and it has helped her get closer to who she wants to become. In solidarity of Melissa, popular actress Jenna also quit the franchise. The actress reportedly did this to show solidarity for the fired actress. Speaking of actors facing dire consequences due to this ongoing war, another popular actor who had to face the result of his ignorant remarks on the war was Noah Schnapp. 
Another popular actor who faced backlash nearly lost his role in a popular franchise is Noah Schnapp. Noah Schnapp, who like Amy Schumer was openly supporting Israel and Zionists after the war repeatedly broke out, also released a video in which he was hanging out with his friends and holding a sticker saying this. This led to a huge backlash from fans all over the world. Noah Schnapp is a part of popular Netflix show called Stranger Things, which has fans from all over the world. After his video surfaced online, people started demanding the production to drop his character. This prompted an apology from the actor as he stated that he only wanted peace on both sides and that his actions were misconstrued by the media. According to Noah, he was ignorant during making fun of ongoing war and tried to apologize for making fun of it. And although many people demanded to take Noah off of the cast of Stranger Things, Netflix has so far taken no such action against the child star. It isn't just the celebrities who have taken sides that face backlash, it was also the celebrities that did not take a strong enough stance on either side. One of such celebrities was a popular singer who lost a lot of public favor and support after her reaction to the ongoing war. It all started when Selena Gomez made an Instagram story in which she implied that celebrities cannot do much when it comes to global politics and people should not expect them to speak up about these issues. After she implied that a post won't change the world, a lot of people were quick to point out that she does all of her marketing of her brand Rare Beauty through social media. She is also part of the United Nations and had a more firm stance when it came to the Ukraine war that her silence about this matter is hypocritical. Following the backlash, Selena Gomez several times announced that she would be taking a break from social media and yet returned each time and had to face more backlash as a result. This made many people raise questions about the artist's integrity. Selena Gomez had previously stood up for causes personal to her like she visited the American president Joe Biden to discuss the importance of mental health and counseling. People also pointed out the hypocrisy when she stated that her post or a hashtag would create no difference. The backlash against celebrities really strengthened and came to center stage during the 2024 Met Gala that happened in May where many celebrities usually come together and dress up extravagantly to raise money for charity. Met Gala is an anticipated event in which celebrities gather to raise money and dress up extravagantly. A ticket to Met Gala reportedly costs $7,500. Mostly, people are very interested in seeing different dresses the celebrities are wearing and judge their outfits according to the themes. However, this time around, people were not happy with the celebrities. A lot of the people called the event extremely tone deaf and were not happy with how celebrities get to spend thousands of dollars on useless things while many people are starving and dying all around. The biggest controversy that arose from the event was an influencer by the name of Haley Khalil who dressed up as a French queen named Mary Antoinette and made a TikTok saying, let them eat cake. The queen had famously said these words during the French Revolution when peasants were protesting for not having enough bread to eat. This has led to a lot of anger from the masses, which further fueled the fire against the French monarchy and led to many of the rulers being killed at the guillotine. Interestingly enough, Haley's TikTok moment ended up inspiring a whole new movement of which many people have now become a part. It is not bloody like the French Revolution, but it is called the Digital Guillotine. This is what a Digital Guillotine is. After the Met Gala 2024, a new movement started in which people started mass blocking celebrities. Many celebrities like Kim Kardashian, Taylor Swift and many others that haven't yet spoken about the ongoing war are bleeding followers. People are not just blocking celebrities on Instagram, but also on different apps like Spotify, X, and also their businesses. This is a unique movement called Blockout 2024 for the last two days. Blockout has been trending on X, an app formerly called Twitter, where thousands of people are blocking celebrities that were present in the Met Gala and have not taken any firm stance in this war. This movement is only growing bigger with time with more and more TikTokers and influencers urging people to block any celebrities that have not taken any sides or tried to help out during the ongoing war. What started as a backlash against selective celebrities that were most vocal or said something tone deaf has become a larger debate. People are questioning the morals of celebrities not just about the Palestinian war, but also their refusal to redistribute their wealth and indulge in extravagant pleasures like the Met Gala, while many people cannot even pay for their groceries. 
Although many celebrities are being mass blocked and cancelled, there are many who are also being appreciated for speaking about the ongoing war and global concerns during the whole process. Many celebrities have showed up on carpets wearing badges showing solidarity for Palestine and given speeches in the country's support as well. Oscar-winning director Jonathan Glazer spoke for Gaza in his speech and denounced the actions of Israel for which he both received praise and backlash. Being a Jewish himself, his speech created a huge uproar and impact in people with many actors speaking out against him while many defending him. The war has taken up the Twitter and celebrity world by storm. Everything celebrities are doing or not doing is being hyper-scrutinized by people and criticized. People are becoming more and more critical with who they choose to support as celebrities. And as more time passes, Hollywood becomes more and more divided over this conflict. Did you enjoy this video? Subscribe to our channel and get more videos like this. Let us know what you think in the comments down below.